Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial in the Lattice 2 series. In this series we're looking at Lattice 2 Workbench in FreeCAD and how we can use the tools within that. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the custom placement to create this type of arrangement. What this does is allow to use a single kite, place that kite along a path and then from that path use a compound object such as this to create the end result. In this case, this was a chain, but this could be any geometry or any shape that you want to create along a custom path. So I hope you join this little mini series. And let's see how we do this. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. So the tools that we're going to look at in the Lattice 2 Workbench of FreeCAD are the custom placement. And there's two tools that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the single placement and the placement of shapes. And though there are many of the same tool here, they are preloaded with the different presets depending on which one you actually pick. So we're going to pick the single placement custom. This creates a single kite on the screen. It's not a sign at the moment, but it's what we can do with this that is a sign. I can go for the placement presets at the moment and hit OK. So we have a single kite in here and we know that if we come over to somewhere like the part workbench we can actually add something to there. Let's transform this over the way. We know if we add, say, Taurus in there, we can use the Lattice 2 workbench and attach that Taurus to any placement that we have, like so. So by clicking on it, click on the placement, come out to Lattice 2 and use the populate with copies, populate with copies, and I'll place that there. Let's just delete that. I'm going to keep that torus there because we're going to be using that. I'm just going to hide it. What this allows me to do is use other arrays and create multiple custom placement points around those arrays. For instance, if I come over to the draft workbench, in the modifications, we have a number of array tools in here. We can use those placements against those. So if I create a sketch along the XY plane, a new sketch, X, Y plane and hit OK. Then I can create a path in here. I can use a B spline or any one of these slot, a regular polygon, etc. Let's go for a B spline. And we'll create our path, something like this. Hit escape. So we've got our path here. I hit close. Now over in the draft workbench, I can select that custom kite and then I can control select the path that I want to use. So any of the edges that make up the path or multiple edges. Cut to modifications, come down to array tools and that's pick the path link array and that adds that kite to that path. At the moment it's not aligned properly. Let's hide the grid in. And we'll line up by clicking on the path array and coming down to the line equals true. We'll click off, you can see those are line now, but they're laying on the side so we can force the vertical. Coming up to false vertical, so that's true. And you can see those are up the right way now. Let's increase the count as well. So let's come down and increase the count to say 15. You can see they're all lined up there, but the minute we hit enter or click off, they get added to that path. Now let's come over to the lattice two because we need to prepare that path to allow us to take an object against these. So I'm going to make sure that the path is selected. And we're going to be using this icon here, this option, place element of shape, or come up to lattice two, come down to lattice placement and placement of shape. That placement of shape has been added and it doesn't really look any different until we click on the path array and press the space bar. 
you notice that we have now the kite back in the middle this hasn't gone wrong all we have to do is click on the placement and change the translation options so we come down and this lattice array from shape that's sitting here and we've got the tra compound traversal at the moment it's used as a whole if we drop this down and use direct children only and click off that places that array in the correct position now we've got something we can use against our shape let's bring back the torus and this time i'm going to create a compound of this torus it's the same placement against these we can even use a kite against this one and place kite for kite like we did in the other videos let's create another torus so i'm going to click on the torus come up to edit and duplicate selection so we've got two toruses now and i'm going to right click and transform and rotate this around so i'm going to rotate it just around in the spot like so so we've got one vertical and one horizontal hit OK. What we need to do now is come over to the Parts Workbench and with the Part Workbench we're going to select both of these and create a compound. Select one torus, Control select the other, or we can do it from screen. Come up to the Part and come down to Compound and make Compound Object. This means we can use this over in the Lattice 2. Let's jump over to the Lattice 2 and we can place that compound against these and repeat them across here. So to do that, we select our compound. We then control select the placement of path array, go up to the lattice two, and this time we're going to come down to the populate with children. So this is for array elements, a compound is array, and populate with children. It's gonna give us a warning. Just continue this. We will only see that two have been populated. And that's because of that warning. But we click on this new population that's created on the left hand side here in our tree view. And we come down, we can see that we've got a number of options on the data tab. On the lattice populate children heading has our object compound and it's saying loop object sequence equals false. When we put this to true and click off, it adds those rings around there. Let's come into that placement and have a look what we've got here. We've got the placement of path array, this one here. The number of elements here at the moment is 15. We can't increase this. We have to go back to the original path array that this was created with. So we'll look down and we can see the shape link is path array, which is this one here, the one that's invisible. Now, if I increase these elements, watch what happens. Let's come down and find the count. I'm pressing the up arrow on the keyboard. So let's change that to 16. So I change that to 16. I'm hitting Control R to increase the amount. So I'm just gonna push this up and slowly increase the amount. Can you see what's happening? We are actually creating a chain. So I can get to the point that they all link up like so and now we have a chain we can come in and click the placement of path array and press the space bar which is inside our populate placement of path array with compound it's a long worded object here and we can hide the original compound as well and even we can come into the sketch and hide that as well we've now created a chain with that compound object and that path and a custom array. So if you think of this in say, if you was creating a byte chain, you can do that, but you'll need to know basically the length of the array you want to place across there and calculate how long you want the byte chain, how long the individual links, and how many times you want to repeat that. To get you on the way with that, you can actually come in to say, if we was doing it along this sketch, I've just shown that sketch. The Lattice 2 workbench has an inspect feature and we can use the shape info that creates a new icon in the tree view in here it gives you stats about that edge or that shape you selected and we can come down and you can see that it's a wire it's even got the length that we need so we can use that to calculate the length of the individual links and how many there should be 
So there you go, that's a quick introduction of how to use that custom placement and the placement of shape tool to allow you to do custom paths and custom array placements along that path. Hope you found that useful. I hope to see you in the next video. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.